What is up you guys? Thank you for tuning in to today's video. I almost got into a car accident just now because of an impatient ass driver. But it's okay though, everything's good. So right now, once again, I'm headed to IBT. It's crunch time and this manual swap should be happening Saturday if everything goes well. So right now I'm headed to IBT to give Tony the Mark III Super drive shaft that he actually let me borrow. Huge shout out to IBT for that. It's like driving through a maze of potholes. car is going to need like a super detailing when I'm done with it. Into a really? Yeah, because I have so many other 154s. Right, <laughs> true. Yeah. I think I'm going to make it into a stick shift. I mean, it's a 93 with power folding mirrors. It's rust free car with coilovers. So I'm thinking I'm going to make it into a stick shift with some big brakes. Now, which ones do you do you rather? These or the or the year or the uh, model after? It's like the one I have outside? Yeah. I honestly rather these because I'm older. Right. Because the market is so saturated with the ones that I have outside. Like, True. It's kind of like even if you had one that was right hand driver, it just kind of blend, it would stand out. True. This, if you see this anywhere, you're going to be like, Right. <laughs> Promoter, we are the end of the dance, done Ram already. Spain town original. I'm in every string cut over Spanish town hospital. To me, my name, none of Spanish town original. I'm a group on him, can make a Spanish town original. I'm a gun in him, peggy Spanish town original. <laughs> <laughs> you said what's the only aftermarket thing? You said the um the HKS front mount in the cooler. Yeah. And I guess they did the bypass for the heater core, but I'm gonna take all of that out plus it. Okay. Because I realized maybe the gate valve got stuck, so they couldn't get the heater to work. They should have just went from the hose, bypass the, the gate valve, and they would have been alright, but they ran the whole thing. Okay. Could have just did a whole of that. I think I'm gonna go single thermo on this and do like one of those R154s with the extension on it. Right. Because I have so many of them. Yeah. Um, just convert it from auto to manual so I could kind of have this stick shift and keep the white one as a stock twin setup for now. Definitely. Because I have the high lux and the F350 and it's like, who needs four booth is this? <laughs> right. <laughs> but, but, you know, you can't, you can't drive a boring car if you own a shop. You gotta have something that's gonna inspire your customers to either build or right. they come in and they see this, they're like, damn. Old school grown man's car, but it's it's got a little home, you know. Mm -hmm. This at five or six hundred horsepower is definitely something nice. Definitely. It's not gonna be boring at all. So right now I'm just headed to Advance Auto. Um, I gotta pick up a uh, output shaft seal for the W58. When I was trying to fit my drive shaft in the first day that I got the transmission, uh, I was sort of fighting with it. So I guess I messed up the seal uh, trying to get that to work. And that's a must, so I have to go get it. Um, that's really like the only thing that I need for this manual swap. Cause I got stuff coming in in the mail. So I basically have bought everything. So I'm gonna go buy that. It's only like 10 bucks at Advance Auto. So why not? I'll probably just show you guys how to install it. I doubt you guys will ever need to do it, but if you guys make a mistake that I do, you probably will. <laughs> 
so that advanced auto didn't have it in stock uh which is funny because online said they did have it but uh, i'm gonna be going to a different one right now but i gotta pick up my girlfriend though so i could take her to run some errands i guess but you guys don't gotta worry i ain't gonna show you guys all that two thousand years later make sure you bring these up just dropped her back off to work luckily there's a advanced auto right across the street from where she works at so just gonna stop by over there damn it i should have went the other way there's a loud ass g35 over there that thing was loud as hell that startup i think probably the exhaust is loose or something here it is got the output shaft seal um hopefully this is the right one I don't see why it wouldn't. Let's park this. That thing is nice. There's some nice cars out here at Advance Auto. You got a nice ass S2000 right there. JDM front Teggy. Pretty nice, pretty nice. So that is indeed the right seal for the transmission. But uh, I thought I would be able to take it out myself. But turns out you need something called an oil seal puller, which I do not have. Um, I know Tony said that he has one. So I think tomorrow, I'm gonna stop by and see if I could, well, if he could, you know, pull it out for me. But since that went down the drain, I actually got a package. Uh, this package is something that I ordered like last week. It's actually from Drift Motion. It's nothing special, but I figured I'll just show you guys. Uh, uh, ooh, ARP. Okay, all right, box. So, ARP flywheel bolts. You know, this is like one thing that I completely forgot that I would need. Like out of all the parts that I was ordering, flywheel bolts never crossed my mind until like two weeks ago. I got these, they were $30 at Drift Motion. These will not fit if you're using a W55 flywheel, all right? These are only good for the ones, I think for the R154 or the W58, all right? So this will not work for the W55. Usually drift motion is on the expensive side, but for these, these were only $30 uh, on other websites. I found them for like 80. So this is a good deal. So if you guys need some flywheel bolts, drift motion is the way to go. But now let's get into the main reason why I'm even filming this video. Standing in front of my house because it's raining, like I don't want the camera to get wet. Remember when I first started YouTube and then I used to film like half of my videos like right here in front of this window? It's crazy how things have changed. I have good news and I have bad news. So like always, let me give you guys the bad news first. The bad news is the 1JZ swap will not be happening in February. I know it's a letdown. I had a lot of people looking forward to it. That's why I gotta stop talking so much and telling people my plans before I know for a fact that it's happening because you know, life always hits me. And yeah, so I'm not gonna be able to get the one Jay-Z uh, February. I do guarantee it's gonna happen before the summer, definitely. But February, nah, it's not gonna happen by February or in February. But yeah, so that's the bad news. I'm still your average guy, so you know, I can't just get anything, you know, anytime I want it. So yeah, life did hit me and I'm not gonna be able to get it. But it's cool, it's gonna happen, so I'm not even worried about it. But the good news is, since that's not gonna be happening, you guys get to see the manual swap this month. And I think I said it earlier in this video, I'm actually swapping this car to manual Saturday, like this Saturday that's coming up. Um, the video won't be out till next week, but this Saturday, it's going down, it's gonna be crazy, so I'm super excited, man. This is the moment like we've all been waiting for, like since I got the car. And then the second part of the good news is that since I'm not gonna be swapping the motor in February, my original plan was I was just gonna take the GE out of the car and then just throw the 1J in without doing anything. But then now that it's not happening so soon, I was thinking and then I was like, you know what? Instead of being, you know, lazy and just swapping it and that's it, why not dress up the engine bay a little bit, you know? Originally, the swap would have taken probably like a day or like a day and a half, maybe two. But with the plans that I'm having, I think the swap is going to take probably a week. Uh, that's because uh, I'm trying to get everything done like super clean. I'm trying to paint the engine bay. I'm trying to get, you know, quality, stylish, I guess you would say parts. I'm trying to get some nice quality parts so I can throw in the engine bay. Uh, basically, just to make the engine bay look better because um, I am going to be getting this car repainted sometime this year. I don't know when, but the car is going to be repainted because the car is going to have like a new look. I can't have the outside of the car looking super nice, but the engine bay is dirty, especially with the one j in there man you got to have a clean bay so i think i'm going to take my time with that like you know collect parts and then make sure when i do the swap the swap looks super clean and super nice inside the engine bay i think that's the best route to go the second good news is since i'm not going to be doing the swap in february this is going to give me a lot more time to actually collect turbo parts most likely when the one j goes in my car it's not going to be stock i'm going to upgrade the turbo I'll stock up on boost parts people always say that it's a pain in the ass to take out the stock manifold and stuff like that and they say that it's always better to do 
it while the engine is outside the car so I think that's what I'm gonna do because the plan was to drive the car while it's stock for a few months but with this I think like right off the bat I'm gonna be pushing like 400 horsepower so hopefully we can do that and uh, yeah I'm just gonna be basically taking my time more with this build I think I was stupid as hell just to say I was just gonna take the engine out and then throw the 1J in and that's it not even clean up a little bit so yeah I'm definitely gonna be cleaning up and painting the engine bay I think I'm gonna paint it just a normal black and add like a you know clear coat over it stuff like that I don't want to do nothing too crazy because the outside of the car is like gray so I want something you know neutral so the 1J swap is not gonna be happening in February but it will happen by summer or during summer but yeah you guys could expect this manual swap video to be a real nice video man it's gonna be like a VT all-star video you know cuz I'm gonna have people there helping me that you know they've all been in my videos but this is the first time that they're gonna be together it's gonna be me Nick Shamar and Zane doing this I'm also gonna try to get one other friend to come and help us out too so this video is gonna be nice man it's gonna be crazy and since it's gonna be roughly four of us I would say that this thing should take maybe two or three hours at the most because if each of us have a certain job to do then it's gonna be super efficient especially since you know we have three people that actually work on ISs so I have no doubts that we're gonna get this done and it's gonna be smooth but if you guys are excited for this manual swap the way that I am drop that fire emoji down below I want to see them all in the comments because that video is gonna be fire I know it was a short video but I hope you guys enjoyed it if you did please give it a thumbs up drop the fire emojis down below subscribe to the channel help us get to 10k before the summer and I'll see you guys for the next one I'm out Coming slow, dreams they seem far. Here you won't make it from niggas who fell off. Goals they kept calling, so I had to pick up. If I wanna get paid, I gotta work hard, shine bright, day or night. HD vision right, homie. We ain't dropping no names, straight bars plus flame. That's the HD experience, thinking that's a better vision. It's funny, Eddie Murphy delirious.